All right, so now that we have our unified controller, we got it set up, we got it running. And if you follow along in my previous Unify SNP, we got it running on a Windows Server as a service. Uh, let's let's get our, our first device uh, adopted in here. So I am logged into my controller uh, through the local network. So you can see in the address bar that the IP address is 192.168.1.72 and then port 8443. And this is the screen it drops us into. This will have more data once you have more devices in here. And so to adopt a device in, on the left side here, we're going to click on this devices icon and this is going to take us to the devices page which lists out all the devices that are associated with the controller in this case I've got this one device here and you can see the icon on the far left that little circle uh, just designates it's an access point and under model you can see that it's an action APAC Pro but the status says it's pending adoption so that device is brand new out of the box and plugged into my network and it is it has reached out to the Unify to let it know that it needs a home. And so to adopt this device in, all I've got to do is click on the adopt option over here on the right, and we get the notification that it's adopting it. And by default, uh, the name of the device is simply the MAC address of the device. And so the next status it's going into there is provisioning. That's just the controller reaching out to it and dropping the base config onto it. But since this controller is brand new, there's no config to add to it. So if you already had a Wi-Fi network set up, this is where it would be pushing it out to the device. And this process is the same for a switch or a firewall as well. All right, so then once you got that device adopted into your controller, it will give you this option to upgrade over on the right. Uh, that's only if the firmware is out of date. And in this case, brand new out of the box, yeah, it's <laughs> probably out of date. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and upgrade it as well. It will just apply the latest firmware to it. And it's going to ask me if I'm sure. I'm going to just going to hit confirm. And then we'll run through the process of applying the new firmware to it and then rebooting it. 